So we took a look at how to work with rough surfaces in the previous lesson. Now let us look at how to work with shiny surfaces. And over here you can see that I got uh, two capsules and a floor uh, model uh, which I actually imported out. So I'm just going to press Control R and you can see that there's nothing on to the scene right now, no reflection whatsoever. So for that, I'm going to go over here on the bottom and I'm going to double click to create a material. I'm just going to drag this material onto the capsules right here and I'm just going to control and click it to copy that out over here. For the floor, I'm just going to create another material right here. I can also rename this out. I'm going to rename this to floor so that I do not get confused later on. This is floor and this is simply capsules. All right, there you go. So now for the capsules, I'm, let, let us start by making them shiny first. So I'm going to go on to the capsule and over here on the basics, you, you see that the reflection is turned on. And once the reflection is turned on, you get access to this one. So once you actually go over here, you can see that there's added as, as an option. And here there are many options to make the objects shiny. So there's Beckman, um, say a CZX. I'm just going to use Beckman. These are all just different options to make the object shiny. I'm just going to stay with Beckman. And once I do that, you can see that the shininess is there. And you can see that the object is shiny. And this is the default environment that you see. But once I press Control R, uh, you don't see that surface anymore. But you see that def default reflection is being reflected. I also want the floor to be shiny. So I'm going to go over here and add in Beckman to floor as well. So I'm going to go over here onto the add. I'm going to say Beckman right here onto the floor as well. Now I press Control R. And you can see that everything is sort of black right now because there's no environment to work upon. So you can see that the floor, the reflection is there. You can see that everything actually looks great, but uh, everything is dark. So what I'm going to do right now is work with something called a sky, something like a sky dome that can reflect the light upon. So I'm going to go over here um, onto the setting and here you can see that there's sky. So once I uh, bring in sky, you can see that there's uh, something covering up the entire environment just like this. So I'm going to go to the sky right here and what I'm going to do is uh, work around with its settings. So I'm going to add in a material to the sky which can act as the environment. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to drag it over here onto the sky right here. And over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the material. I'm going to go over here. Um, on the material settings right here. Let me add in some color to this, something color. So if I were to add in some color, you can see that the sky color changes as it is. But if I were to press Control R, you can see that the whole environment is now sort of this um, light greenish color right there. But anyways, I want to make the color more interesting. So I want to add in something like a gradient. So I'm going to go on to the sky material right here. Let me just go on to the texture for it. And then I'm going to add in something like a gradient, let's say, for example, so that there's a bit of a gradient coming into place. So you got white that side, black this side. Let me go to the texture settings. You can go for different. So I'm going to go for radial settings. So it actually uh, brings in different effect. As you can see, you can also go for circular settings right here so that one place is dark and so forth. Just like that, as you can see. So cylindrical surface right there. So different sort of options, as um, as you can see, can be applied right here. So I'm just going to go for radial right here so that it's uh, OK. Radial is quite uh, sharp right there. So I'm just going to go for something like a circular. All right. So once I do that, you can see that I can select colors that I can reflect with. So you can see that this place is dark, this place is white, and you get a sort of a reflection feel. So I'm going to change this to something like an interesting color, like a bit of a dark red right there. So that red is being reflected. And on the right side, I'm going to reflect, um, I'm going to choose uh, some different colors right here. So I'm going to choose something like a bright yellow, for example, press OK. There you go. So let me just go over here and then increase the brightness a bit, just like this. All right. So now I'm going to add in a third color as well to make it a bit more interesting to look at. So I'm going to use something like blue right there. And there you go. So you can see that there's three ranges of colors right there. And if I were to press Control R, uh, you can see that a bit of reflection is there. However, 
let's say I do not want the sky to be lit up. That is the inv whole environment to be lit up. I just want the colors to be seen on this material. For that, I can go to the sky. I can right click on this. I can go to render tags. And here you can see there's an option called compositing. So let me just go over here. And here you can see that right now, the scene by camera is turned on. Let me just turn that off. And you can see that the environment is not lit up anymore. All everything is just on the objects. So now um, I can just turn on the scene by a, a ref, reflex, a ref, a scene by reflection and reflection. That's it. I just want to turn them on. So if I were to press Control R, uh, you can see that the render takes place, and then everything is quite shiny and it looks interesting rather than before. It does take some time to render though. So you can because there's a lot of things to be rendered out. You can see the reflection and everything else playing out right there. There you go. So now uh, one thing I want to do is add in lights to actually give it a dynamic feel because without lights, uh, reflection does not seem really well. So I'm gonna go on to the right. I'm gonna use a regular area light. We're going to learn more about light in the further lessons. So I'm just going to go over here. Let's say I'm just going to uh, drag it on to the left right here, just like this. And then I'm going to uh, just move it uh, just around this side. I'm going to press control and drag it, move it to another side, and then control and drag it, move it to the other side. So I'm gonna use something like a three-point lighting system. So I'm just gonna go over here. Let me rotate this out, rotate this out, turn it down. I want that to be used as lighting right here. And this another light right here, let's drag it, and then rotate this out and then this light as well so the third light right here rotate and drag it down okay so let me just bring all of these three lights above so i'm going to select all of these three lights so let me just drag it above just like this you can see that interesting effect is actually coming into play i'm going to turn on shadows for all of these lights so that it actually looks interesting so i'm going to go on to the shadow maps as well i'm just going to enable the soft shadows and let's see how the overall result looks now. If I were to press Control R, everything is being rendered along with the lights, the reflection is there and you can see that the lights are being reflected as well. You can see that these are the lights, the reflection is there on the floor and it is processing, looks really well. Let me just fast forward so that the render is complete and you can now see how the render looks like. There's a reflection right there according to the gradient that we played around with and there's the reflection on the bottom floor, there's the light reflection as well. So everything is there and this is how you work with a shiny material inside of Cinema 4D and we're going to look at further options uh, which we can use for working with shiny materials in the next lesson. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.